We are very excited about the new fellowship program. For forensic anthropology, there are very, very few postdoctoral fellowships um, available in the country, and, and WMED really has a unique, uh, uh, a unique department in that we are both academic and a functioning medical examiner's office, so there's a lot of opportunity for a diversity of casework and training as well as research and teaching. It's really one of the only fellowships where the forensic anthropologists are not siloed away from the other professionals we work with. Um, and that there's enough time with two years to, to really get a broad experience, to be able to apply for and take the, the board exam, to have a minute <laughs> before you have to be on the, on the job market again. So uh, I think that that's really important. I think that, um, you know, there are, there are very few opportunities to really get this kind of training once you're done with your PhD. Uh, and, and we're just really eager to get started and to, and to, um, and, and to, to start, uh, start what I hope is going to be a very long-lived program. The casework that we're involved with is the full range from uh, just a standard, you know, we don't know who this person is, so we're going to do a positive or a scientific identification of them, uh, to skeletal analysis, uh, basic skeletal analysis, demographic uh, characteristics in that, uh, to complicated trauma cases. Uh, so we do a lot of consults for the forensic pathologist in uh, pediatric uh, trauma, uh, accidental versus uh, trauma versus like pathological fractures, those kinds of things. Um, we also do quite a bit of field work and recoveries. We work with local law enforcement, we work with the state police and try to locate uh, clandestine graves and, and that kind of thing and, uh, and then go out and do the recoveries and, and bring the um, what we find, the evidence that we find, back to, uh, back to the lab for analysis. There's only two faculty that are forensic anthropologists, myself and Dr. Jared Cornelson. Uh, so we, we really view it as a very close working relationship, a supportive working relationship, uh, where we will be sort of one-on-one -on -one working with the fellow um, on a day-to-day -day basis on, on things like the casework or research projects. While the fellow is here, they're going to, uh, they will have a professional development fund. They will be able to be supported to go to conferences, to apply for and take the, the board examination. The goal of the fellowship is, uh, is really to get somebody best situated to be successful going out onto the job market. Ideally, they will be board certified and have a breadth of experience that they'll be competent uh, on their own. Um, and also part of the point of the, of the fellowship is that we're trying to increase diversity in the field and so that we can continue to, uh, to diversify and to get voices that really reflect the community that we serve um, in, in, into the discipline. Kalamazoo is just great. <laughs> I really, I really enjoy living here. Uh, I, one of the, the benefits to somebody who comes here in a fellowship is that uh, Kalamazoo is situated where we sort of um, experience-wise or professionally, you're going to get experience with both rural and, and urban communities. And just the, the practical things like cost of living, like you can have a nice place to live and not be worried about your rent from month to month. So. Um, it's a great family place too, if, if that's what you're looking for. And uh, but it's just it's a it's a pleasant place to live. Once we have a fellow, and when they leave, I want them to say that they feel prepared, that they felt supported both as a person and as a professional here, uh, and that they're they're ready to take what they learned and, and share it um, with the rest of other professionals in the discipline and with the community. Um, but mostly I want someone to leave here and feel like they have a very solid basis to go on and, and to be a good practitioner on their own two feet.